Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these two scrunchy patterns. This one is the two-tone scrunchy, and then this one is a sparkly scrunchy. This one's really simple, so we're going to do this one first. And once you know how to do this one, you'll also know how to do the sparkly one. So we're going to start with this one. It's called the two-tone scrunchy. So for materials, for this one, this, the two-tone one, I used Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Yarn. Um, I really liked this yarn for the scrunchie, but you can use any fingering weight yarn you have in your stash. Now for the sparkly one, the yarn is really what makes the scrunchie because it's, you know, a sparkly scrunchie. So I used Vanna's Glamour by Lion Brand for this one. So again, you can use any sport weight yarn. This one is a sport weight, but I do think that this yarn makes the scrunchie. But we're going to start out with the two-tone scrunchie, so grab some fingering weight yarn from your stash and let's get started. The only other materials you'll need is a hairband, just a regular hairband, and an eye crochet hook or 5.5 millimeter. Now as you can see, I have made a slip knot on my hook, and to start, I'm going to make a slip stitch around my hairband. So to do this, you're just going to insert your hook in the hairband. You're going to pull up a loop and draw through that loop. So now I'm going to tighten it by pulling this strand and I've made my slip stitch. And then after that, I'm just going to chain three. So you're going to insert your hook into the scrunchie again. You're going to yarn over and pull up. So you can see I'm making my double crochet around the scrunchie. After this, I'm just going to make a normal double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through another two loops. So here I have my chain three and my double crochet. And I'm just going to keep repeating that all the way around the scrunchie. Yarn over, insert hook into the scrunchie, yarn over, pull through two loops, pull through two more loops. And you're just going to keep repeating this. Now, I chose to do 78 double crochet around, like I said. You can adjust this if you want. So if you want more ruffles for your scrunchie, it depends on how ruffled you want it. You can kind of play with it and see if you want to add more or less double crochet. Alright, so here's my finished round one. I have 78 double crochet around the scrunchie, and as I was saying before, if you want more or less ruffles, you can scoot your double crochet over, you could add more um, to get the ruffles more pronounced. If you want less ruffles, you can even take some out. So that's completely up to you. I personally like the 78 double crochet, and the last step for this round is that you're just going to join with a slip stitch to this first chain three that you did right here. So I'm just going to insert my hook and slip stitch it right together. And I'm going to fasten this color off now and we will join in our color B. Alright, so I fastened off my color A and I've just made a slip knot around my hook with my second color. And what I'm going to do next is join with a slip stitch, but it's not going to be in the top loops like you would normally do it. Instead, we're going to join with a slip stitch around the back post of one of our double crochet. It doesn't really matter which one, but I'm going to do it around the chain three because um, that can be a good place to do it. It's not required. You can really do it under any double crochet if you want. But for the chain three, I'm just going to insert my hook around the back of the chain three. So it's the back post. So you can see that there. And I'm gonna just make a slip stitch around that back post, right like that. I'm gonna tighten it. And now I'm just gonna make a chain three. So now you can see I have my, row, my round one, but I have my chain three coming up from the back of the work. And 
this is going to create the two-toned look that we want. From here, we're just going to do back post double crochets around every single double crochet around. So let, let me show you how we do that. So I'm going to turn the scrunchie over again, and I'm going to insert my hook behind the double crochet. So I'm not going to the top two loops, I'm going behind the post. And I'm just going to pull through a loop, right, like that. Then I'm going to make my regular double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now I have my chain and one double crochet. And I'm just going to repeat that again. So I'll show you it one more time. We're going to go around the back post, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. I'm just going to keep repeating that around. Alright, so here I have come to the very end of my row. You can see I've done back post double crochets all the way around. And the other side, you can see how each one of those goes around the back post. And you can see how this makes this cool little effect right here along the blue because you're going around the post right there. So the very last step is just to make a slip stitch in your beginning chain three once again. I'm just going to insert my hook, make a slip stitch, and I'm just going to fasten that off. And tie it off. And now I have my two-tone scrunchie all finished. Now, if you'd like to make the sparkly scrunchie, the process is the exact same for round one. You're just going to join with a slip stitch around the scrunchie and make 78 double crochet around. So the only difference is we're omitting the second round and we're using sport weight yarn. This Vanna's Glamour is what I used. And I'm just using a slightly larger hook. So I'm using a six millimeter or J hook. So that's all there is to making these cute little scrunchies. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you can, leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to see lots more videos.